Okay, I'm setting up my, getting my screen set up here. Hold on, please wait. Please give me two seconds here. Okay, <laughs> hello everyone. It's me, it's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yay, <laughs> okay. Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. That way I know everything is okay. If you say yes in the chat, Y-E-S in the chat, then I know you can see me and hear me. And there's Lolly. Thank you so much, Dr. Amaris. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. How are you? Hello, green team. Yes, I see Lolly. Thank you, Lolly. Dr. Amaris, hello, thank you. Tomas, hello, hello. All right, and I also see Helga, Ray, Ray. Let's see who else is here. Radu is here. Samara, or, um, Samira. Okay, good, good, good. All right, good to see you. Air Lady, hello, hello. I want to give a big special thank you to Air Lady because she invited many of her friends to my Facebook group page. So that's a, I really, that's a great help. I really appreciate your kind support, Air Lady. Thank you so much. Mwah. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. Cheers, Air Lady. And um, I just want to say by sharing my videos and um, sharing and telling your friends about my, my channel and my Facebook group page really helps me. And um, thank you, Air Lady, for that. And also, um, real quick, if everyone, if you can um, hit the like button. <laughs> and of course, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Yes. So that really helps if you subscribe then you can see all my updates, go to my community page, see um, everything that's happening here on my channel. So thank you for doing that. On is here, hello On, how you doing, how you doing? Monk is here, all right, Marion's here. Okay, great, great, we're gonna have a great day today. I know it, I know it, we will. Well, um, what we always do is we have a toast for good luck, so let's, Start off with our toast, right? For good luck. Yeah, we want to have good luck, of course. Um, so first, pick up your beverage, whatever you're drinking, because we're going to have a toast. Yeah. So our first toast is to the green team. Yes, the supporters. They support me. They support the channel. They're paying supporters. So they get a big, big thank you. And by helping me and the channel, they're helping everyone. So let's give the green team a big, big thank you. Cheers. If you don't have a beverage, bump, bump, cheers, bump, cheers. Uh, Air Lady, thank you. Mwah, I appreciate that. Okay, and because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Yes, we do. Bottoms up. <laughs> mm. All right, now for our second toast. Hey, Devender's in the house. How you doing, Devender? Good morning, Devender. For our second toast is for you. Yes, you are here. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. No, there isn't. So without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So um, let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, productive, and informative lesson today. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Bump. Cheers bump and because we had a toast we have to have a drink yes we do mm. all right all right <laughs> oh no hay fever time allergy time so i have a little bit of a cough mm. so here's water and there's coffee yeah so i'm drinking coffee and water together because i think they go well together <laughs> all right all right so um let me talk about today's lesson plan, okay? So this is today's lesson plan. We're going to do, what is it? It's a review activity. So I have some, <laughs> some cards here. And um, you're gonna, I'm gonna give you hints. I'm gonna give you clues 
and you please tell me what it is, okay? Then we're going to do which is better. I'm going to give you a choice of two things and you're going to tell me which one is better and why. Then we will do some, we do a couple questions, extension questions from my book, 50 Very Short Conversations. Then we will do dictation cards from the members, yes, from the pain members. They wrote in sentences and I made cards and we will do dictation cards with the members' sentences and then we will do Lolly's Revenge, okay? So um, we're busy today. We're going to be here for two hours. So I hope you are comfortable. I hope you are happy. I hope you are ready to practice your English with me today. Yes? Okay, good, good. Well, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Let's go ahead and do it. This is a review activity called What Is It? What? Is it? It's ah. Okay, so that <clears throat> that is the um, reply. Question, reply, question, reply. Four cards. So we go one, two, three, four. And we did these on Wednesday, I believe. On Wednesday, I think. Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm not sure. I always forget. I always forget. Okay, we have four cards, so we need four magnets. One magnet, two magnets, three mag <laughs> magnets, four. Okay? Hey, friends in the house. Hey, friend, how you doing? Mwah. Okay, okay, here we go. Clues. Now, on Wednesday, let's say Wednesday we did this, <laughs> for example. I showed you the picture, right? So you saw a picture, and so you told me what it is based on the picture. Well, for the review, I'm gonna give you clues. So you won't see the card, but I'm going to give you hints. I'm gonna give you clues about what it is. So this is listening and review. So you have to think about what I say about the clues, okay? Here we go. Well, I'm gonna mix them up so they're out of order from the last time we did these. Okay, so this is our, oh, Seiwoo's in the house. Mwah, Seiwoo's here. Good to see Seiwoo. Okay, here we, oh, An. Did I say hello to An? How you doing, An? An's in the house. Yes, great, great, great. Okay. Okay, you're just greeting, you have some clients. Thank you, An. Good luck today, An. <laughs> go, go, um, let me, what, what should I say? to on, I should say, um, knock their socks off. So on has some clients. So I'm going to say to on knock their socks off. That means, um, knock your socks off, meaning have a, a good time. So I want you to have a good time with your clients. Knock your socks off. Okay, here we go. Clue card number one, clue number one. Here we go. It's, an insect. It has eight legs. They come in different colors, different sizes. Uh, many people are scared of them. Um, they have long legs. They have eight legs that are long. Long, egg, long legs and a kind of a round body. Uh, they spin webs and so these webs catch bugs, right? So they catch bugs in their web. <laughs> and there's comic books based on them. There are movies based on them. And um, the movies are very popular. The comic books are very popular. <laughs> you guys got it. Well done. Oh, Maria. Did I say hello to Maria? Mwah, Maria, hello. <clears throat> Ava's in the house. Hello, Ava. Mwah. Okay, we, the chat is growing. Fantastic. Okay, you guys got the clue. Yep. All right, here we, I'm going to show you what it is. And it's 
you got it. It's a spider. It's a spider. So a spider has eight legs. <coughs> their, their body's kind of round. Um, they spin webs. The webs catch bugs, which they eat. We know the movie Spider-Man. We know the comic Spider-Man. And so you got it. <laughs> Good job. All right. Card number two. Here we, oh, Rita's in the house. Hey, Rita. Mwah. Good to see Rita. Okay, here we go. Card number two. Card number two. This is a bird. It flies in the air. Of course, birds fly. Um, it's a small bird. It's, it's named after a color. It's named after a color. This bird's name was a mascot or a name for a baseball team in Canada, a major league baseball team. It's a cute bird. It's a beautiful bird. Um, it makes a very nice um, sound when it, when it sings. So this bird has a nice uh, voice, <laughs> a nice chirp. And um, it's first name is a color its second name can be a boy's name so this the second name so this bird has two names or it has two words two words it's one name two words the first word is a color the second word can be a boy's name can be a boy's name actually i have a friend whose name is this <laughs> Okay, yeah, good job. Well done. Yes, it's a blue jay. Now, jay can be a boy's name. So when I was in school, I had a friend named Jay. And um, so, blue jay. All right, all right. Well done. Good job. Okay, card number three. Here are your clues. <clears throat> this is a vegetable. It is green. It looks like a tree. It is a superfood. It has lots and lots of minerals and lots and lots of vitamins. It's very good for your body. You should eat this every day. Um, it's easy to prepare. You can eat it cold. You can eat it hot. You can eat it warm. You can use it in salads, you can use it as a dip, you can um, put it in soup, you can, it can be made, um, you can use this for soup, you can um, eat it raw. It is a very, very, very good vegetable. <laughs> you got it, yes, yes, yes. It's easy to grow, it's Wonderful. Yes, it's a wonderful vegetable. And you got it. It's broccoli. Broccoli. Yes. It's a superfood. It's a superfood. So it's one of those foods that is wonderful and you should eat it often. <laughs> mm. Okay, our last card. This is a fun one. <laughs> All right, this is, there are, how can I say it? Okay, it's wet, it's big, it covers most of our planet. Its color is kind of a blue-green color. Um, we have some famous names for this, like for example, Pacific, mm. then there's the Atlantic, mm. there is the Arctic, mm. There is, okay, so what are the big, the Pacific, mm, the Atlantic, mm, oh, the Indian, mm, the Arctic, mm. so <laughs> yeah, you got it. You can um, swim in it, you can surf in it, you can scuba dive in it, you, many fish live in it, uh, many living things live in it. Uh, we should take care of it. We should keep it clean. 
it's very important for our earth, very, very <laughs> important. We have to live together with this, right? And um, people actually are not, um, they don't take care of it enough, right? So there's lots of trash in it, which is sad to see. And um, we have to really be careful of this because it's part of our life. Yes, it is. And you got it. It's the ocean. Okay, yeah, so let's, let's all do our best to keep our oceans clean. Yes, keep our oceans clean. Okay, good job. All right, all right, all right. This is the review. Yes, it was. What is it? It's a spider. What is it? It's a blue jay. What is it? It's broccoli. So this is uncountable, so we don't put the a. Uh. So there's no determiner. There's no, okay, so we just say it's broccoli and then it's the ocean. Um, we do this because the meaning it's, it's um, one. So there's names. There's names, right? The Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, the Arctic Ocean, but basically it all is one mass. So the ocean. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, everyone. All right, so that was our review. So let's go to our next activity. Yeah, let's keep the ball moving. Let's keep the train on the tracks and let's keep the course. All right, all right. And um, real quick, everyone, I, I see there's more people watching now, so please hit the like button, okay? I need a little extra help right now. So um, please, everyone, and if you're watching, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. So hit the like button and subscribe. I know many of you are already subscribers and many of you hit the like, but um, I need some extra help right now. Um, my views are so, so I need to go up. So um, thanks. Okay, so our second activity is, I'll just put a dash here, is which is better? Which is better? Which is better? All right, which is better? Here we go. This is the first card. So I'm going to give you a choice of two things. Yes, let's keep the ball rolling, Tomas. Hey, Tomas. Let's keep it going. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to give you a choice of two items. And you're telling me which of the two is better and why. Why do you think it's better? Okay, here's our first card. Here we go. Okay, which is tastier? Okay, which is tastier? Which has a, a better taste? Which is tastier? Green tea or coffee? One more time. Thank you, Helga. I know, I know most of you do that. I know, and I really appreciate your, Helga, you're here every, every live stream, and I mm, love you. That's great, but um, maybe some people don't. So I, 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 I don't say that often, but um, so I, I need a little boost. My channel needs a little boost, so I, I, um, that's why I'm saying that today. So, so everyone hit the like button and if you're not a subscriber, please do that subscribe. Okay, which is tastier? Green tea or coffee, all right? So which one is tastier? And of course, why? That's most important. Why do you think green tea is tastier than coffee or why do you think coffee is tastier than green tea? All right. Okay, so there's the, the question, which is tastier, green tea or coffee? Green, which is not healthier, I'm talking about tastier. Which, is, which tastes better? Let me get a magnet, I need a couple of magnets here. So we're not talking about health-wise, we're talking about taste here. Which is tastier? Tomas says, I think, Green tea is tastier. Okay, why? 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 I need to know why. That's the most Im important. Oh, oh, I'm looking up on the on the chat there. Dr. Mer says I think um, 
broccoli is versatile. It is. It is a great, ver it is very versatile. Um, Dr. Mercy put it in salad. You can make soups from it. Um, yeah, I love, I love cream of broccoli soup is great. Okay, Miriam, hello, Radu. Okay, um, so Dr. Mary says, coffee is better because I love it. <laughs> Lolly says, coffee is tastier than tea, but I don't know why. <laughs> so she can't explain it, right? So um, Lolly thinks coffee is tastier, but she can't explain why. Uh, Devender says, green tea because... I get, oh, oh, fresh. So maybe um, qu quenching, more thirst quenching. Maybe that's it. So I think maybe Denver, Devender um, means that. So more thirst quenching, thirst quenching, right? So thirst quenching means, let's say you're thirsty and like, okay, water is very good for um, quenching your thirst, right? So. Quenching means like to, um, to satisfy, right? So I'm thirsty. So you, your, your, um, your body is asking you for, for water, right? So I'm thirsty. So your body's saying, I need water. And, and so you drink. And so it's quenching. It's, it's satisfying your body's desire for, um, for liquid, right? For water. So maybe you're hot. Oh, I need, um, so you want something to drink and maybe green tea is more thirst quenching. Good one, Devinder. Okay, I'm looking back here. The chat is going pretty fast now. Okay, um, Fran says coffee is stronger. So Fran, so stronger taste, right? So we're talking about taste now. So Fran says coffee has a stronger taste. So she prefers the stronger taste. Let's see, Air Lady says water is better than coffee. Yeah, um, Air Lady, we're talking about um, taste, green tea and coffee. For you, which tastes better? For you, which tastes better? Sebu says coffee because it makes me feel good. So when, yeah, and I I think so too, Sebu. So, so when we're drinking, we're not just tasting, but we're smelling too. And so I think the combination, right? That's how it's for me. So the smell and taste, I think, is better than green tea. But green tea is more thirst quenching. So I drink both, especially um, in the summer, I drink green tea cold because I think it's very thirst quenching. Okay, so... Um, Tomas too. He doesn't know why, but he just feels coffee is better. Um, Air Lady, water must be must be better than coffee because coffee has caffeine. Water is very healthy. Yes. So Air Lady, water is the most healthiest. That's the healthiest, right? So water is the essential thing you need for your body. Yes, coffee is most important for or your body because you can go without food maybe you can you can survive without food for you know a week or two weeks right but you cannot survive without water for long so cough or water water is the number one most important thing for your body water water okay Devender green tea is tastier because it it's compared, okay, so, okay, Devener, green tea is taste, well, compared to coffee, green tea tastes better. Compared, okay, Devender, this is your sentence. Compared to coffee, green tea tastes better. Okay, good. So I think it, it's hard to describe, um, so, so you guys, I, I see the chat, lots of people are having a hard time describing why they like one or the other, right? So this is maybe um, a little difficult, right? Because we're describing taste, right? So maybe for taste, there's less words 
to use, right, to describe case. So um, one, like thirst quenching, right? That's a, like, okay, um, green tea is more thirst quenching. We can say um, coffee has a stronger taste, right? It has a bitter taste where green tea has more of a um, tangy taste, maybe tang, tangy. Green tea also has a um, lighter taste where coffee has a, a stronger taste where green tea has a lighter taste. Mm, so th those are good words to use for um, coffee and tea. Um, coffee has a, a strong taste. Tea has a light taste, especially maybe not black tea, right? But um, green tea has a very light taste. Mm, um, thirst quenching, right? That's where you're very thirsty. Ah, and then after you drink it, you, you feel satisfied. You feel better, right? And um, maybe the, the smell, the aroma, right? So, so a lot of times when we um, are drinking, right, we're also smelling at the same time. Maybe we don't, under, we don't realize it, but once it's, so now th this up to my, my mouth, but my nose is right here too, right? So your nose and mouth are next, <laughs> very close to each other. So as you're drinking, you're smelling also at the same time. So perhaps smell has a big part of how you taste, right? So of course, w when you're eating food, it's going in your mouth, down your throat. So your tongue has the, the, um, the, the ability of the taste, right? So it's actually your tongue that is producing the taste. And um, so as you're drinking or eating, your tongue is tasting, but your nose is smelling. So I think it's happening at the same time. Okay, good, good, good. Um, yeah, okay, so Air Lady says, um, coffee is better, I love the taste. Yeah, so I do too. So for me, for me, for me, I, I think coffee tastes better, but I think green tea is more thirst quenching. And um, so when I'm, I'm thirsty, green tea is better to quench my thirst. But for pleasure, for enjoyment, I prefer coffee. So if I want to relax, and um, I want a little bit of that pleasure, right? When relaxing, a nice cup of hot coffee is best, I think. <laughs> but if I'm thirsty, of course, water is number one. And then for me, number two is green tea when I'm thirsty. Mm. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Hey, Mrs. G is in the house. Hey, how are you doing? Mrs. G Classroom, Mwah, good to see you, good to see you. Okay, um, oh, real quick we, before we do the next one. Radu says, coffee has a few health benefits, but if you drink coffee ex um, excessively, you may experience rapid heartbeat, insomnia, headaches, upset stomach, and nervousness. Not me, Radu. <laughs> <laughs> I never experienced those, Radu. For me, I guess everybody's different. For me, coffee has no bad effects. <laughs> for me, coffee, everything is good. <laughs> it's all good for me. Okay, okay, great, great, great. All right, let's do our second one, shall we? Here we go. All right, all right. Our second card, our second challenge for you. Here we go. Which is cuter? Which is cuter, a rabbit or a hamster? Why? <clears throat> One more time for our second card. Which is cuter, a rabbit or a hamster? A rabbit or a hamster? Helga, 
Mwah. Yes, coffee is the is the um, cure for um, living forever. So, coffee will help you live a long life. <laughs> it's the fountain of youth. It is coffee is the drink of youth. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Okay, one more time. <laughs> Radu. Yeah, Radu. Um, Radu, he, he, he was talking about some of the bad effects, right? Insomnia, um, nervousness, headaches, upset stomach. Not, that doesn't happen to me. That doesn't happen to me. Coffee's all good for me. <laughs> okay, here we go. One more time, which is cuter. A rabbit or a hamster? Which is cuter? A rabbit or a hamster? Here is the card. Which is cuter? A rabbit or a hamster? Tell me why. Tell me why. Let's see. Helga. A rabbit is cuter because it's not a hamster. <laughs> Good one, Elga. Good one, good one. Uh, let's see, Sylvia. For me, I don't like coffee because coffee is, oh, brings my blood pressure down. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Helga likes hamsters too. You have to choose. You did. You like rabbits. Rabbits are cuter, yeah. Okay, Kayleen. You have to decide. There's no like both. No, no, no. You have to decide which one. Lolly says a rabbit is cuter than a hamster because a hamster reminds me of a rat. <laughs> a rat is a big mouse. A rat is a big mouse. Yeah, no one likes rats. People don't like rats. Sonar says, um, my night has become sunny dawn because of you. Oh, ho, ho! Sonar, thank you, thank you, thank you for your wonderful sentence. Okay, Fran, a rabbit is cuter because hamsters look like a rat, just like Lolly said. <clears throat> Miriam says, a rabbit because I like hamster, ham, huh? What's the H-E-M? Dr. Maris, a hamster is cuter because it is cleaner than a rabbit. Hmm, yeah, they're pretty clean, yeah. Except they're poo, right, and they, in their, in their um, cage. I don't know, it seems like they, when I was a kid, we had hamsters and they were smelly. I've had, when I was a kid, I've had rabbits and hamsters. I've had both as a pet when I was young. Uh, Fran says rabbits ah, are cuter because hamsters look like rats. <laughs> a lot of people think they look like rats. I don't think so. Hamsters have a little, um, little fluffy tail, little nose, <laughs> little ears, big furry body. I don't think they look like rats. Hamsters do not look like rats. No, no, no. Ray Ray, rabbits are better because I love to play with them. So Ray Ray likes to play with rabbits. Yeah, Radu, don't believe everything you read. Devender says rabbits are cuter compared to hamsters because I didn't see hamsters here in India. Rabbits are pets. Yeah. Also in India, no hamsters. That's interesting. Ah, Sebu, hamsters, they spin, they, they have their wheels. They play on the, on the hamster wheel. Yeah. So that's cute. They're like running on the wheel. That's cute for sure. They could run really fast. Their little legs go, woo, 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 and that wheel just keeps going around fast and fast. Yeah, that, that is cute. That is fun to watch. That is fun to watch for sure. There is a video, I don't know if you saw it, on 
Facebook, but these, these hamsters like going around and one would try to get on and they get kicked off. It was really, really funny. Like there was maybe four or five hamsters together running on a wheel and some were faster and some were slower. And so the slower ones flew off the wheel and then they tried to come back and they kept flying off the wheel and they're crashing. It was pretty funny. I don't know if you saw that. That video was going around on Facebook. Okay. Well, I think... Uh, paella rabbit. I don't know what paella rabbit is. Dr. Ramirez, what's paella rabbit? Okay, I think, I think hamsters are cuter, but I'd rather have a rabbit as a pet. So I think hamsters are cuter, but I prefer rabbits for pets. Rabbit or hamsters are cuter, but I prefer rabbits as a pet. I prefer a rabbit as a pet. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, so um, that was two. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do, you know, we could, well, okay, yeah, let's do one more, one more. Shall we, well, I don't know, shall we? I always like, look at the time. Oh, okay, we're gonna do one more. Okay, we're, we're going to do one more. Here, okay, we're gonna do the last one. Really, paella, the, the, the rice and seafood, but with rabbit? Really? I, I like paella. I love paella. But seafood, not rabbit, no. No. That's terrible. <laughs> no, don't put rabbit in your paella. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, Air Lady, do you have a rabbit? Do you have a pet rabbit, Air Lady? Okay, here we go. Yeah, so Devin, a rabbit you can hold and, and it's very soft, right? So rabbits are very soft. Oh, uh, Radu, no. I don't want to see your... Radu says rabbits are delicious. No, we can't. Don't eat rabbits. No, they're too cute. Don't do it, don't do it, no, don't tell me. Okay, here we go, card number three. We'll do one more, which, okay, this is which is worse, oh um, no. So we did, which is better, this one, this sentence, which is worse, okay, which one is worse? Which is worse, a backache or a headache? Which is worse, a backache or a headache? One more time. Which is worse, a backache or a headache? Yikes, both are bad, but which is worse? So both are bad, but which one is worse? Both are bad, but which one is worse? Which is worse, a backache or a headache? Oh, we don't like either. We do not want either, but which one is worse? Nobody eats spiders. No, no, that's a joke. You can't eat a spider. There's no meat. Spiders have, they're too small to eat. Okay, Radu's on the board. A headache because it can affect your day more profoundly. Lolly says, a backache is worse than a headache because with a backache, you can't walk anymore. Devander, headaches because it, feel, it, it makes you mad. It makes you mad. Yeah, that's a good point. So, headaches because they make you mad. That's right. 
That's a good point there, Devinder. Kadeen, a headache. Why? Why, Kadeen? Why? Tomas says, a backache is worse because you hardly can move when your back hurts. That's true. Helga, a headache is worse because the head is the main part of our body and you can't do anything. These are great points here. These are great sentences, everyone. Ava, backaches because I had it for five days. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, air lady, rats are no good. I do, they are no good for sure, air lady. Rats are no good. Fran, headache because when your head hurts, you can't think. Fran says, headaches because when your head hurts, you can't think. Ray Ray says, headaches, a headache is worse because you cannot see very well, you cannot see and think very well. Headaches are worse because you can't see or think very well. You can't see or think very well. Um, that's right, rehab. They're both terrible, but which is worse? <laughs> They're both bad. They're both bad, of course, but which one is worse? I have a backache constantly. Oh, Tomas, that's, I don't like to hear that, Tomas. Do you, um, oh no, no, Tomas, do you take hot bath? Do you take a hot bath each night? That might help. You know, take a hot bath. Right, do um, a headache because if your mind is affected, then your whole body is affected. Good point, Dr. Maris. Headache, a headache is worse because when you have it, you cannot think. Miriam, a backache is worse than a headache because you can't sleep with a backache. These are <laughs> you'd like lots of good points here. Yes. Um, uh, Jiao or how? Ho, hoa, Joa, Joa. Um, yeah, but we gotta choose one. We gotta choose one, Joa. Tomas, um, I have no headaches because my head is empty. <laughs> Nothing inside. <laughs> Tomas, that's not true, Tomas. That is not true. Yeah, poor Tomas. Nothing in his head. <laughs> his head is empty. Poor Tomas. He has an empty head. <laughs> Rita, headaches can take, oh, for, okay, headache you can take medicine and backache you need treatment specifically. Oh, good, good. You guys have like, these are like lots of Good points here. A headache because thinking too much. Uh, Dr. Maris, a headache is worse because it makes me feel mad. Yeah, that's what Rad or that Devender said that. Yeah, so or maybe it makes you feel um, what, what's the word? Um, short-tempered, I think. Not so much mad, but short-tempered. That means you get mad easily. Right? So, so a headache makes you short tempered where like something, something small can make you angry, right? Something like normally if you do not have a headache, you would not get angry, but a, a, a headache will cause you to have a short temper, a short temper. And so then, um, little things can make you angry. So that's not, that's, that's terrible. Marion says a headache because the brain suffers, yeah. Sebu, a backache because it should be treated, it takes a long time to treat. Okay, a backache, okay, this is Sebu. Sebu, a backache because it will take a long time to treat. A backache because it will take a long time to treat. Okay. Oh, so 
So um, Tomas, he has some, um, his cartilage, his disc. So our, our back, right? Our backbone and then there's discs between, you know, we have bone and a disc, bone and a disc. That way we, we, can, we can move, right? So bone is hard and it doesn't move. But if there's parts, like if you're, you're you have bone and then a disc, bone, disc, then it's flexible, right? So that way we can, we can move, right? So that's why we have um, bone, disc, disc, think of like, um, like a, a, well, do you know like the Olympic sport called the um, discus throw, right? So, or like a Frisbee, it's a round disc. And um, so they go between the bones. So your back has flexibility and you have a disc and then you have cartilage between. So there's cushion, right? And, and then as we get older, sometimes that cartilage will get thinner and thinner. And then if you're just bone on bone, right? Like bone, disc, bone, no, no cushion between, then it can be very painful on your back. So um, I'm lucky I don't get headaches. I haven't had a headache in a long, long time. And I don't get, sometimes my back will hurt, but I have no problems with my, with my back. So I'm very lucky. Um, I, I don't get affected either one. It doesn't affect me. So I don't get headaches. I, have, I haven't taken aspirin in years and years. I don't think I've had a headache in like 20 years. So that's pretty good. Yeah. So um, I remember when I was younger, I would get headaches. But um, I'd say maybe like the last 25 years, I've had zero headaches. I don't get headaches. And um, my back is good. No, sometimes like I'll bend over and like, ah, and then maybe one or two days my back hurts, but then it, it gets fine. So, so I'm lucky. So anyways, okay, great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Dr. Maris, bad mood, short temper. Yes, yes. That's right. So, um, bad, okay, a little different. Okay, good, good point. So, everyone look in the chat and you can see Dr. Amaris. And she said, um, bad mood equals short temper? Question mark. So, she's wondering if they, if they are the same. No, they are not the same. Bad mood is you're just feeling, you're feeling bad. Like, you're just you're kind of maybe not kind of like, like a little sad, but not sad, you know, like when you're feeling sad, you have that kind of like sad feeling, but, um, bad mood. You're just not feeling normal. You're not feeling good. You're not feeling your best. Short temper is you can become angry very quickly. Let's say you're driving and somebody, Maybe a normal day, somebody what, you're driving and somebody does something stupid or something. You go ah, right, and it doesn't make you angry. It's just like uh, that's a that's a bad driver. But then you go on and you're not angry. But if you're feeling short tempered, you know you'll 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 get angry like ah, you're a bad driver. And you might do something stupid or something like that. So short temper just means you're gonna get angry quickly. And, and so that's what um, Devin was saying, where um, a headache can cause you to be short-tempered, right? So something, um, normally you would not get angry, but, it, but um, if you're short-tempered, that means you will get angry. So something small will make you angry. Okay, okay. Good job, everyone. Let's, there's some, you guys had great, great, points on this. Very, very, very good. That was great. Okay, so let's keep the ball rolling. Let's keep the train on the track and let's stay the course. Yes. So our next activity is extension questions. So I got a couple questions for you, all right? So I got a couple questions for you and I want you to answer the questions, please, in the chat. Please tell me. And so Today's questions are coming from book one. These are my books, 
from amazon.com 50 very short conversations so we have conversations and questions and so our question today from page 13 so, so every Wednesday we've been doing um, conversations right we've been practicing one conversation but um, don't get much time to practice the questions or quizzes so I thought, okay, today let's do a couple questions from the book today because normally we don't get much time for these. All right, so here we go. This is our so extension. So just basically um, every set of, of conversations, there are questions pertaining or relating to the conversations. So our questions are, is it okay to ask personal questions? Is it okay to ask personal questions? Is it okay, is it okay to ask personal questions is it is it okay to ask personal questions this is our first question so in the chat I want you to okay Lolly what's a personal is it okay to ask personal questions yes that's the question there good Lolly so if anybody, if, if you have difficulty seeing the whiteboard, please look at Lolly's chat. And so Lolly wrote the question in the chat. Thank you for doing that, Lolly. That way everyone can see easily. Maybe some people, they're using um, a small device. So maybe some people, it's hard for them to see the whiteboard. So by you writing the question in the chat, that's going to help people. Thank you, Lolly. So, is it okay to ask personal questions? Radu says, depends on the context and how well you know the other person. So, that's very good, Radu. Yeah, so, like everything. Context is everything. Context, so that's the situation, right? And so, it, everything we do depends on the context. <laughs> everything we do depends on the situation, right? It depends on what questions we're going to ask. Um, it depends on um, what we're going to do. To, what we're going to do, what we're going to say, depends on the context. One more time. What, we're, what we are going to do, what we are going to say, depends on the context, right? Um, Helga says, no, it isn't. So Helga, is it okay to ask personal questions? Helga says, no, it isn't. Okay, how about this? Okay, so like we just said, it like um, Radu said, depends on the context, right? So, okay, let's do this. Um, in what context is it okay to ask personal questions? Okay, so let's do that. That's good. Two. Okay, in what context? Is it okay to ask personal questions? All right, so in what context is it okay to ask personal questions? Okay, Radu says, um, we can't ask personal questions to strangers or the person who we do not know. So Devin is saying, um, so in the context of strangers, you should not ask personal questions.
Good one. Okay, I'm going to say it one more time. I'm sorry. Um, I hate doing this, but um, please hit the if please hit the like button. And if you're watching and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. That way you get all the information, you get all the updates on my videos. So please do that. If you haven't, please do that. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, so one more time. In what context? In what situation? In what context? In what situation is it okay to ask personal questions? In what context? In what situation? Like for example, um, think of a situation where you're asking a personal question. What would that situation be? For example, if you're at a pub and you, you see someone and you're talking and you ask them, oh, they're a stranger, but you're in a pub and you're talking. Is it okay to ask age? How old are you? Is it okay to ask for, your, for the other person's phone number? Is it okay to ask for an email address? Is it okay to ask for a home address? Is it okay to ask for about um, work? So, in what such situation? Okay, Lolly. Okay, um, Ava says, um, for my friend, the question's okay. For friends, it's okay. Okay, okay, I'll delete Devender's. Okay, I'm going to delete that, remove the um, Devender's. Okay, so Devinder, I, I deleted your email address because now um, uh, Mrs. G has your email address. So Mrs. G is a great English teacher, Devinder. Great person. She's a great person. Um, Lolly says, it's okay to ask personal questions in a job interview. Yes. That, so in a job inter interview for the context, that's very important, right? Um, like if you go to a job and they ask you, um, what's your telephone number? And you go, sorry, I'm not going to tell you. Then they can't call you and say you have the job, right? So, so, you know, you need to give personal information to someone in a job interview, right? That's, that is, um, very important. Ah, Devender says, I think, and a, a, a doctor, right? So in a, if you're in a doctor's office, that's very important, right? You want to tell them everything, yeah? So if you're, if you're in a doctor's office and you're having a consultation, if you're having a discussion, right, the, the doctor's asking you personal questions, of course you need to answer those personal questions, of course. Yeah, Dr. Maris is a doctor and she has to ask people personal questions. That's her job, right? So that's a situation where um, it is very necessary. It is necessary. Oh, no, say what? <laughs> no, say what? Be careful. No, say what? Be careful. I'm worried about you, say what? No, 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 no. Oh, Sewu, I'm 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 worried. So, um, Sewu, please, please, do not tell strangers. Do not give strangers your personal information. Okay, Sewu, please do not do that. No, I want you to be safe. Please, Sewu, please stay safe. Okay, good, good. Okay, say well, you're kidding. Mwah. I'm happy to hear that. Yay! You, I was worried there for a minute. You, you made me worry. <laughs> Almost like you were my 
daughter. Yeah, so I have, I have two daughters. And so, um, of course, I worry for my daughters, right? That I want them to be safe and I don't want them to um, meet bad people, right? So, say, well, you're like my daughter. I, I don't, I worry about you, Sewu. <laughs> okay. Ah, right, dude. It is appropriate to ask your wife personal questions. Well, I hope you know your wife's personal answers, yes? <laughs> okay, okay. Um, okay, how about this? This is our last part for this. Tell me... What are some personal questions? So this is the third question. Tell me, make a, tell me what, tell me what some personal questions are. So please tell me what some personal questions are. Okay, so for example, what are some personal questions? For example, what are some personal questions? Uh, okay, okay, so Fran says, if my son is sad, for example, I can ask him um, personal questions. Okay, for example, what? So I want, I want to see, I want you to tell me for example, some personal questions. Um, for example, okay, I'll start. What's your telephone number? That's a personal question, right? What's your telephone number? Okay, Helga, where do you live? Good, good. Um, Bear says, what do you do for life? Or like, what is your job, right? Maybe that's what, Bear, is that what you mean? What is your job? What do you do? Okay, Lolly, how old are you? That's a personal question. That's right. It is like, okay, how old are you? For younger people, that's not a problem, right? So maybe for, for you and Sewu, that's, that's not a problem, right? But people get older and so people become more, um, more protective of their age. They become more protect their age. Like, I don't want to tell you my age. Oh, okay. Rita. Um, okay. Situation when you, when you need someone to work at your home. Yes. Yes. Like a, like a housekeeper or something. You have to ask them personal questions. Yes, Rita. Um, Seiru, how, how much do you weigh? That's a very personal question, right? How much do you weigh? Dr. Maris, age, address, telephone number, those are very personal questions. Um, how much do you earn? Yes, money. Money is very personal, right? Like, how much money do you have in the bank? How much money do you get paid at work, right? Those are very personal questions. Money is always a personal question. Um, Miriam, passwords for your, for your bank? Of course, that's like... That's secret. Don't tell any, yeah, your, your secret PIN numbers, right? Personal identification number, PIN. Personal identification number. Those are very personal, right? That's why it says PIN, personal. <laughs> personal because it's right there in the name. PIN, personal identification number. So right there. Um, yeah, money, Tomas, is very personal. Friend, age is a very personal question. Yep. Dr. Mer, salary, money, how much do you earn? That is a very personal question. Yes, Radu, your salary, how much you earn is very personal. Um, what is your recently, what's your recent job? I don't know, that, that might be, I don't think that's so personal, right? I mean, that's, what's your job? I don't think that's personal. I, I don't, I, I wouldn't mind asking a stranger, what's your job? That, that, I don't think that's too personal. Okay. Oh, Susa, do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? That's relationships. That's personal, right? That's a personal question. Oh, oh, Marin, what is your 
family situation, right? That's personal. Are you divorced? Um, are you single? Right? That, that's, that can be very personal. That's right, Marion. It depends on the culture. Um, in America, it's not so personal, right? Like many people say, oh, I'm divorced, right? That's not so personal. But in Japan, that's a very personal question. So um, I think that depends a lot on the culture. In Japan, it, it's very personal. Divorce, single, married is very personal. Where in America, it's not so personal. Uh, Devonair, personal question. Where are you from? How many members are in your family? Are you married? What, is your, what does your wife do? How much money do you earn? Those are all personal questions. Good, Devin Durr. <laughs> Which gender do you like? Oh, okay, okay, Tomas, sexual preference. Yeah, yeah, so Tomas, good. Sexual preference is very personal. Like, um, is the person straight? Is the person gay, right? So that is very personal. That's right, Tomas, very good. Uh, dang, are you married? So I think that's cultural, dang, yep. So some cultures, that's personal. Some cultures, it may not be so personal. Very good. Um, Lolly, do you have any illnesses? Yes, that's very personal, right? That's like for a doctor, right? And so maybe someone is sick, but they don't want to tell anyone. Like they, maybe they have cancer or they have um, some disease that they want to keep personal. Very good, Lolly. Yeah, Dr. Merce, sexual preferences, that's right. Are you straight? Are you gay? Those are personal questions for sure. Um, ah, Sebu, how many boyfriends or girlfriends have you had? Not made, had, Sebu. So we say had. Oh, like for so had, right? I have a girlfriend. I have a wife. I have a boyfriend. I have a husband. Now, in the past, how many girlfriends have you had? How many boyfriends have you had? So that could be very personal. And again, that can be cultural, right? So maybe some cultures, having many girlfriends, many boyfriends is very bad. But in some other cultures, maybe it's not so bad. So it, it's those kind of, I think, um, that depends on the um, culture. Mrs. G Classroom, asking about your sexual preference is so personal and an awkward question. However, I notice people ask this on movies and they make them seem normal questions. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, maybe, you know, like um, I'm 57. So for me, <laughs> You know, my thinking is very, very personal. I would never ask someone, are you gay, right? I would never, are you straight? I would never ask. I might have an idea, you know, oh, they seem, you know, like a man. Oh, they seem feminine, so maybe he's gay. I don't know, but I would never ask. But maybe, you know, the, the younger generation, maybe it's not so personal. I don't know, Doc. Uh, Mrs. G, that's a good, that's good. Oh, Lolly, what's your religion? Yes, that's very personal. That is because that can, like, if you ask someone's religion, then then it can it can begin an argument, or it can begin some some um, some questioning, right? So maybe most people, no, I don't want to talk about religion, right? I don't like that. And um, also politics, that's very personal these days, right? Like um, how you, are you conservative? Are you liberal? How your politics are, right? Because today's situation, today's world, politics is very um, explosive, right? Very, it's a hot topic, right? And um, it can trigger people, it can create um, anger, it can you know, it can create, um, you know, um, a lot of discussion, right? So, so yeah, religion, politics should be personal. My feeling, right? I don't want to talk about religion. 
I don't want to talk about politics. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So, um, do you believe in God? That's right. So, religion is very personal. Yeah. Um, Rahib, yeah. Sexual orientation, very personal. Um, Kayleen, how is your family? I don't think that's personal. I think that's, that is good. I think that's greeting, right? So you're not, Kayleen, you're saying, oh, um, how is your family? And so I'm not asking, I'm not asking um, details, right? I'm just saying, oh, how is your family? Oh, they're good, right? And it's up, so I don't think that's a personal question. I think that's a greeting, right? And like, for example, if you ask me, oh, how's your family? And if there's something I don't want to tell you, I'm just going to say, oh, they're good, right? And so it's just, I think that's a greeting, Katie. I don't think that's a personal question. That's my, my feeling. Um, Radu, how many times have you been married? Yeah, that, that's a personal question for sure. And again, it depends on um, cultures, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, Ava, are you married? Yeah, that's kind of like, I mean, a lot of times you can, you know, I have a ring. So, so of course I'm married. I have a, a, a ring. So this, this ring shows you I'm married. So you don't have to ask me <laughs> because I have a ring. Right. And, and so then, you know, again, so I'm, so for me that that's not a personal question because I'm wearing a wedding ring. So of course, if, if I wanted to keep it personal, I wouldn't wear a wedding ring, right? So for me, I wear, ready, I wear a wedding ring. So for me, that's not a personal question because it's just right there. I'm, everyone can see, everyone can see. Okay. <laughs> Do you take a shower every day? Uh... <laughs> I think, Fran, I think that's in the context. So if somebody smells, <laughs> so let's say you're, you're um, let's say at work. Let's say you're, <laughs> okay, for example, I think this is context here, Fran. Um, let's say, okay, the context is you're at work and you're, you know, there's lots of people in your office and somebody is smelling, woo, you know, body odor, B-O, body odor. And so that person is smelling. Then you ask them, do you take a shower? <laughs> that can be a personal question, yeah. So, friend, um, I think that depends on the context, on the situation. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Devinder. Yeah, so I... I wear a ring just to show my respect to my wife. So, so I wear a wedding ring to respect my wife. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, right. So, Marion, um, medical problems, that's a personal issue. Yeah, that's a personal issue question. Radu, stop. S stop. Yes, Lolly, that is disgusting. Radu, we don't want to hear that. We don't want to hear or see that. Yeah, Phil, drugs is very, that's a personal question. Yes, Phil. So there's so many, right? So that's what's interesting, what we can do together. Yeah, who did you vote for, Katie? Yeah, politics, very um, personal. So actually, this is what's powerful. Right now, sorry, I'm going to stop this. Right, I'm go I, want to, I want to make an announcement. So this is part of what's so great about what we're doing right now, about live streaming and all of us in the chat talking about this. So normally, maybe in a normal class, we would go, okay, today's lesson is personal questions. So we go, okay, um, let's talk, you know, personal question is age, 
address, um, medical issues, right? So maybe we think of like five things, but when we have all these people, right? So we have like 90 people right now and we're all thinking about personal questions. We're all asking questions and, and, and inputting, you know, writing in the chat and we're coming up with lots and lots of good personal questions that maybe normally we wouldn't think about, right? I, I, I you know, in, in a normal classroom, a lot of times, you know, we don't get this deep, right? But we've been talking about this and we're getting like deeper into personal questions and we are coming up with lots and lots of personal questions and wow, this is great everyone. So, um, th this is what's so powerful about what we're doing right now in our live stream, in our chat. And so it, it's, we're, we're coming up lots of lots of language. So I always say, you know, in the chat, there's lots of great studying. There's lots of new vocabulary. There's lots of great vocabulary in the chat. Yeah, Phil, have you ever taken drugs is very personal. That's right. Well, we're talking about illegal drugs, right? We're not talking about aspirin and doctor, right? You're talking about, you know, marijuana, cocaine, uh, LSD. You're talking about um, heroin, you know, there's right. All the morphine um, and, and those mushrooms and, and things like that. So those are personal, right? Because you can, people can get in big trouble, right? So that's personal. <laughs> Sebu, you are young. Don't worry. Stay single for as long as you can. Sebu, <laughs> enjoy. Sebu, enjoy your freedom. Enjoy being single. For sure, Sebu. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, lots of great um, ideas in the chat today. Great sentences. You guys. Mwah, fantastic. Okay, let's let yeah. How much do you drink? So there's, God, there's like lots and lots. So please, everyone, um, do yeah. Hidden treasures. There are so many hidden treasures here. Good lolly. That is lolly. That's perfect way to describe lolly. That was perfect. Mwah. That was the. See you guys. You guys know more than I do. You, of course, you, you guys are the best. Number one, right here in this chat. You guys are number one. Lolly, great description. Okay, there are tons of hidden treasures here in our chat, right? So please um, go back and, and um, reread the chat. Please go back and um, study the chat because there's so much good information here hidden treasures right here. Okay. Good job, everyone. I'm really happy. So this is part of about why I do these live stream chats. That's why I'm here every week. I get, I get great feedback, great energy from you. And, um, that's what makes it worth so much. You guys, ah, oh, nicely done. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's keep the ball moving. It's already, Time, it just goes so fast, doesn't it? Time just moves so quickly. It moves quickly for me. It moves so fast. Okay, let's look. Okay, wow. We gotta do dictation cards, yes. We gotta do our members dictation cards, all right? So this is, I'm gonna write it right here, our steps, okay? We're gonna have four steps. These are the members. So this is the green team. They, the green team um, wrote these sentences. So, okay, so we're gonna have four steps. Dictation. Okay, am I, am I in the picture? Yeah, okay. Dictation, then we will shadow. Then we will review. And then we will do um, a quiz. 
Okay, so these are our members only, or, or the, the members um, dictation cards. Okay, and our topic today is clear off. Clear off. Now, clear off. That means remove from a flat surface. So a flat surface, meaning table, desk, um, counter, mm, shelf, right? Something with a flat surface, clear it off, okay? So um, remove from a flat surface. Remove from a flat surface. Okay, so again, that's going to be um, clear off. So that's going to be a table, that's going to be a desk, that's going to be a shelf, that's going to be a counter, that's going to be a um, something flat. Uh, uh, a, a cabinet, um, a night table, anything that holds something f and it's flat. So actually I have a little table here that is holding up the cards. It's also holding my coffee tumbler, right? So this is on a little table and it's a flat surface, right? And my computer, my laptop is on a little table. And then there's two tables on a bigger table. <laughs> so I have, I have a, a, a big table. And then I have a little table that's holding my laptop. And then I have another little table that's holding, um, it holds my mouse. It holds, it's holding the cards. It's holding my coffee. So right now, I, there's three tables right here, and they all have flat surfaces, so clear off. Okay, so that's our, that's what we're doing today. Yeah, Sebu, Devin, Devinder's English is very good. Oh, oh, talking about, um, I know... I know how De I know Devender, Devender's English because we do Zoom classes once a month for the the members. Okay, so but okay, by joining the channel, you, you join different levels, right? So there's the starter level, standard level, professional. So um, for the upper levels, we do a live stream um, Zoom class meeting for one hour, and it's this Sunday. But, Usually we go the fourth Sunday, but I'm going to be out of town. So um, the 28th, I'm not going to be home. So I, so I sent a link to our community page for the members, okay? And our Zoom is the 21st, this Sunday, okay? Next, the, 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 um, this Sunday, okay? So this Sunday. So please go to the community for the members and you will see the link. So we're doing our Zoom on Sunday, March 21st, March 21st. So, so the members of the upper levels, please um, check it out. Okay, and so Devender's there. So I've, so Devender's English is very good, um, Sewu. Okay, stop shuffling, I will. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Dictation. So you need a pencil and you need paper. Pencil and paper. Pencil and paper. And because you're going to listen and write down what I say word for word. And today we have one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve cards, everyone. Twelve. So we got a lot to do. 
And um, our topic is clear off. And I'm going to say each card three times. You will not see the picture. You will not see the sentence. You will be listening and writing, okay? It's a challenge, but that's why you are here. You are here to challenge your English. So let's do it. <laughs> Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, today's cards are from, sorry. Today's cards are from, I'm going to say our the people who wrote the sentences, our cards are from Devender, Sewu, Miley, Sultana, Sophia, Lolly, An, Marion, Dr. Ramirez, Rita, Ava, and Monk. Okay, so a lot of you are here, so you might hear your own sentence, yes. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Card number one. Every day before I start my work, I clear off my desk or table. Every day before I start my work, I clear off my desk or table. Okay, each, each card I'm reading three times, so this is the third time. Every day before I start my work, I clear off my desk or table. Card number two, card number two. Could you clear the expired food off the top shelf in the refrigerator? Could you clear the expired food off the top shelf in the refrigerator? Could you clear the expired food off the top shelf in the refrigerator? Card number three. Card number three. Waiter, can you clear off our table, please? Waiter. Could you clear off our table, please? Waiter, can you clear off our table, please? Okay, card number four. Remember to clear off your desk before you go out, please. Remember to clear off your desk before you go out, please. Remember to clear off your desk before you go out, please. Okay, five. When you finish having your dinner, Please clear off the table and wash the dishes. When you finish having your dinner, please clear off the table and wash the dishes. When you finish having your dinner, please Clear off the table and wash your dishes. What a mess! You should clear the paper off your desk. What a mess! You should clear 
the paper off your desk. What a mess. You should clear the paper off your desk. After I finish my homework, I always clear off my desk. After I finish my homework, I always clear off my desk. After I finish my homework, I always clear off my desk. They've left. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. They've all left to leave the mess for me to clear off the table. They've all left to leave the mess for me to clear off the table. They've all left to leave the mess for me to clear off the table. I like that sentence. After working, it is important to clear off my desk. After working, it is important to clear off my desk. After working, it is important to clear off my desk. Okay, three more. <laughs> We're almost done. Three more. Okay, hang in there, everyone. You're doing good. A lot of, lot of sentences. Lots of sen But lots of practice for you. Yeah, lots of practice. So this is good. Good practice. Here we go. Next card. So this is card 10. This is number 10. Please, after work, remember to clear off the countertop. Keep it real clean. Please, after work, remember to clear off the countertop. Keep it real clean. Please. After work, remember to clear off the countertop. Keep it real clean. Okay, 11. Here we go, 11. Remember to clear off your table, please. Remember to clear off your table, please. Remember to clear off your table, please. Okay, last card, number 12, yes. You guys are doing good. Here we go, number 12. I have to clear off the counter in the kitchen. I have to clear off the counter in the kitchen. I have to clear off the counter in the kitchen. Woo! 12 cards, everyone. Pretty thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys did great. Uh, is your, how's your fingers? Writing and typing. How are your fingers? <laughs> you guys, are your fingers hot? Do you have hot fingers? Yeah. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. Okay. Good job. We did the dictation. All right. Now, <laughs> hot fingers, everyone. You've got hot fingers. Okay. Um, let's do shadowing now. Yeah. So let's do our speaking practice. Yeah. So give your fingers a rest, please. Let them, let your fingers relax, okay? Because now it's time for your mouth to work. <laughs> First, 
here your fingers your fingers were doing the working yeah your fingers were doing a hard the hard work right your fingers were doing the hard work now it's time to give your fingers a rest give your let your fingers relax and now it's time for your for your mouth to move now it's time for your mouth to do the hard work yeah so it's shadowing and it's time to move your tongue uh, move your tongue <laughs> Okay, here we go. Time to move your tongue. Okay, count down. Five, four, <laughs> yes, right, two. Relax your fingers and move your tongue. I like that. Relax your fingers and move your tongue. Relax your fingers and move your tongue. Relax your fingers and move your tongue. <laughs> here we go, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Every day before I start my work, I clear off my desk or table. Every day before I start my work, I clear off my desk or table. Every day before I start my work, I clear off my desk or table. That's right, Lolly. Now this is Devender's sentence. Every day before I start my work, I clear off my desk or table. So Devender has a very clean desk, very neat, not messy, very neat, not messy. Card two, could you clear the expired food off the top shelf in the refrigerator could you clear the expired food off the top shelf in the refrigerator could you clear the expired food off the top shelf in the refrigerator could you clear the expired food off the top shelf in the refrigerator. This is Say Woo's sentence. So the expired food, meaning the, the food that is old, the old food, right? So throw it away, throw away the old food. Oh, 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 did I? Yeah, okay. Radu, sorry, my mistake. That's right. So, thank you, Radu. So, my, oh, I'm always making mistakes. It should be every day, separate, separate, two words, every day. If it's used as an adjective, then it's one word, like everyday dishes, everyday work. Okay, if it's used as an adjective, then um, it should be together. But, it's not, it's um, noun, every day. Okay, so it should be separated. Thank you, Radu, thank you. My mistake, thank you, sorry. Sorry for my mistake. Okay, here we go, three. Thank you, Radu. Number three, card number three. Waiter, can you clear off our table, please? 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 So this is Miley's sentence. So waiter, clear off our table. So you want the waiter to take away the dishes, right? You're finished eating, so you want the waiter to take away your dishes. Card four. Remember to clear off your desk before you go out, please. Remember to clear off your desk before you go out, please. Remember to clear off your desk before you go out, please. This is Sultana's sentence, Sultana. 
Remember to clear off your desk before you go out, please. So don't leave a messy desk, please. Clear off all the trash, clear off the stuff you're not using, all right? Keep your desk clean. When you finish having your dinner, please clear off the table and wash the dishes. When you finish having your dinner, please clear off the table and wash the dishes. When you, when you finish having your dinner, please clear off the table and wash the dishes. Now, I made a mistake here. I didn't put the. I forgot the. So wash the dishes. So there's no the. So I just saw, oh, I made a mistake. Again, mistake number two today. So it's the dishes. We don't say dishes, wash dishes. No, wash the dishes. We do not say wash dishes. We say wash the dishes. So that's my mistake. I, I didn't input it. Sorry. This is Sophia's sentence. Sorry, Sophia. When you finish having your dinner, please clear off the table and wash the dishes. That's why I tell my kids, and it's battle. I tell my kids, when you finish having your dinner, clear off the table and wash your dishes. Wash the dishes. Thank you, Sophia. Sorry, Sophia, about the mistake. The dishes. The dishes. Okay, here we go. Next card. What a mess. What a mess. You should clear the paper off your desk. What a mess. You should clear the paper off your desk. <gasps> what a mess. You should clear the paper off your desk. What a mess. This is Lolly sentence, Lolly. What a mess. You should clear the paper off your desk. Yes, it's a mess. Clear it off. We want, we want a clean desk, yes. That way you can, you can do more work on a clean desk, right? You get more done. You get more work done on a clean desk, yeah? Okay, here we go. Next card. After I finish my homework, I always clear off my desk. After I finish my homework, I always clear off my desk. After I finish my homework, I always clear off my desk. After I finish my homework, I always clear off my desk. Now, this is on sentence. On was here, and then he, remember On, he had to meet with clients today, so he came in, said hello, and then he had to leave. So this is On sentence. Hello, On. I hope your, your meeting with your clients went well, or if it's still going, I hope you're doing well with your meeting. After I finish my homework, I always clear off my desk. So, so On, after he finishes, he clears off his desk. That's good. That's good. Okay, here we go. Next sentence. They've all left to leave the mess for me to clear off the table. Oh, no, no. They've all left to leave the mess for me to clear off the table. They've all left to leave the mess for me to clear off the table. It's sad story. It's a sad story told by Marion. This is Marion's sad story. They've all left to leave the mess for me to clear off the table. That's a poem. That is poetry, Marion. That is a poem. It, it, the sentence just rhymes, doesn't it? It just flows. It's poetry, Marion. They've all left to leave the mess for me to clear off the table. They've all left to leave the mess for
for me to clear off the table. That is poetry, Marion. That is an excellent, excellent use of English. Very, Marion. Well, well done. Yes. You got an A today. <laughs> Marion, you get an A plus today. <laughs> okay. Here we go. After working, it is important to clear off my desk. After working, it is important to clear off my desk. <laughs> Marion, nice. After working, it is important to clear off my desk. This is from Dr. Ramirez. After working, it is important to clear off my desk. That's right. So doc Dr. Ramirez is a doctor, so she has probably her, you know, working and, and patients and paperwork. And so she needs to be organized, right? Doctors, it's very important for doctors to be organized. So to be organized, you need to straighten things and, and clear it off for the next day, right? You don't want your work piling up, right? So after you finish the day, get it off your desk for the new day. Yes, for the new day. <laughs> okay, here we go. Next one. Please, after work, remember to clear off the countertop. Keep it real clean. Please, after work, remember to clear off the countertop. Keep it real clean. Please, after work, remember to clear off the countertop. Keep it real clean. This is Rita. Now, Rita has a restaurant, all right? So, so this is from her experience in the kitchen, right? So she has a restaurant and it needs to be very clean, yes? Because people are going there, they're eating, there's food. So it is top priority, top. Very, very important, right? Top priority to keep the kitchen clean, right? So this is Rita saying to the, the cooks, right? To the chefs. Please, after work, remember to clear off the countertop. Keep it real clean. Yeah, so after the, after the shift, after the, the customers have gone home, you gotta clean that kitchen. You gotta keep the kitchen clean. Okay, here we go, we're like, Card 11, we're almost done here, everyone. Great, great, you guys are doing very, very good. Here we go. Remember to clear off your table, please. Remember to clear off your table, please. Remember to clear off your table, please. All right, remember to clear off your table, please. This is Ava telling her boys, telling her husband, telling her children. Remember to clear off your table, please. Yeah, because Ava doesn't want to do it, right? Ava cooked the meal, so you got to clear the table, right? So this is Ava telling her family, clear off the table, please. Okay, here we go. Our last card. Here we go, go. I have to clear off the counter in the kitchen. I have to clear off the counter in the kitchen. I have to clear off the counter in the kitchen. Top priority. Top, that is, top priority is most important thing to do. That is the number one task, Phil. That is, top priority is the, the most important. All right, this is Monk. Monk is here. Monk, this is your sentence, Monk. Well done. I have to clear off the counter in the kitchen because it is messy. So Monk has to clear off the counter in the kitchen because it's messy. So clear it off, get it clean for the next day. Yes, clear it off, get it clean for tomorrow, for tomorrow. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, that was speaking practice. All right, so we did writing practice, 
we just did speaking practice. So let's do a review, all right? Let's do a review, let's go. Then it's the quiz time, okay? So we're going to review for the quiz. Review for the quiz. So the quiz, right, we're gonna shuffle and then I'm going to cover the sentence. So you have to say the sentence by looking at the picture. So it's gonna be hard because a lot of the pictures look the same. <laughs> same topic, right? So you gotta pay attention, okay? We're gonna review and please um, concentrate. Concentration, deep thinking, concentration. Yes, okay, here we go. Every day before I start my work, I clear off my desk or table. Okay, so we, I'm sorry, my mistake, every day two words in this situation, right? Okay, here we go. Could you clear the expired food off the top shelf in the refrigerator? Okay. Waiter, can you clear off our table, please? Remember to clear off your desk before you go out, please. When you finish having your dinner, Please clear off the table and wash the dishes. Sorry, my mistake, the dishes. What a mess. You should clear the paper off your desk. After I finish my homework, I always clear off my desk. They've all left to leave the mess for me to clear off the table. <gasps> That's a messy table. That is a messy table. After working, it is important to clear off my desk, says the doctor. Please, after work, remember to clear off the countertop. Keep it real clean. Keep it real clean. Remember to clear off your table, please. I have to clear off the counter in the kitchen. All right, are you ready for the quiz? That was a review. Now, ho, 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 I'm going to shuffle. Oh, Hernando, no problem. Good to see Hernando. Okay. I'm going to shuffle the cards up, get them in different order, and then we're going to take the top three cards for the quiz. The top three cards will be the quiz. So shuffling. Someone's going to tell me to stop, right? Who's going to tell me to stop? Who? Who's going to? Oh, Lolly's going to tell me. She just did. Okay. There are the cards. Okay. Right, dude. Now I'm going to take one, two, three cards, the top three, and I'm gonna cover the sentence. Can you do it? Okay, here we go. Card one, you write the sentence in the chat. What is the sentence, please? What is the sentence, please? This is Ava's sentence here. What is the sentence, please? That's right, Devender, it's a challenge. Devender says, not easy today, but we will do our best. 
That's all I can ask is for you to do your best. Okay, what is the sentence? What is the sentence, please? Do you know the sentence? It's a challenge, but that's why you are here. Helga says, remember to clear off your table, please. Alice says, remember to clear off your table, please. Marion says, remember to clear off your table, please. Devender says, remember to clear off the table, please. Seiru says, remember to clear off your table, please. Radu says, remember to clear off your table, please. <laughs> I know her sentence. Oh, Lolly. That's okay, Lolly. It's, there's a lot of cards, 12 cards, a lot to remember for sure, for sure. Dr. Ramirez, remember to clear off your table, please. Okay, here we go. I'm going to show you the sentence. And the sentence is, remember to clear off your table, please. Yeah, you did it. You did it. Okay. That was card one. Now card two. We're going to do three. So here is card two, the, the, the second one. Oh, ho, ho. challenge. It's a challenge. But that's why you came. You came for the challenge. Our second card is Sewu's card. This is Sewu's card and... What is the sentence? What did Sewu say? What did Sewu put in her sentence? What is the sentence, please? In the chat, write the sentence. What is it? What is it? What is it? Yeah, Hernando, remember to clear off the table, please. Good. Monk, remember to clear off your table, please. Okay, what is this sentence? What is this sentence? Okay, Radu, can you clear the expired food off the top shelf in the refrigerator, please? Whoa, Radu. Helga, could you clear the expired food off the top shelf in the refrigerator. Say, whoa, do you remember your own sentence? <laughs> Could you clear the expired food off the top shelf in the refrigerator? Marion, could you clear the expired food off the top shelf in the refrigerator? 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 Okay, let's check it out. Let's check it out, check it out, check it out. And Devender, remember to clear the expired food off the top shelf in the refrigerator. Dr. Ramirez, could you clear the expired food off the top shelf in the refrigerator? Alice, could you clean the expired food off the top shelf in the refrigerator. Alice, clear, 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 clear. Monk, could you clear the expired food off the top shelf in the refrigerator? Okay, here we go. Let's check the sentence. Da -na -na -na. You got it. Could you clear the expired food off the top shelf in the refrigerator? Yes, get rid of the old food. Get rid of the expired food because you can get sick, right? If you eat, you know, if you eat expired food, there could be bad bacteria, right? Bad bacteria that's not good for your body. Okay, here we go. Card number three. Card number three. What is the sentence? This is Rita's. Rita's sentence. And hint, it's about a restaurant, yeah. Rita's sentence. Rita's 
Rita's sentence. What is Rita's sentence? It's a challenge. But that's why you are here. That's right. You, you could get sick. You can get sick, Phil, by eating um, old food that has bacteria. And that will like make you sick. People get food poisoning, right? From, um, from um, you know, old food, rotten food. Like in a restaurant, like something spoils, right? Food poisoning. Yeah, that's bad. That's not good. <laughs> You'll be sick. All, you know, that's, some people have to go to the hospital for food poisoning. So you don't want food poisoning. No, that's not what you want. Okay, Marion says, Please, after work, remember to clear off the countertop. Keep it real clean, says Marion. Helga, please, after work, remember to clear off the countertop. Keep it real clean. Keep it real clean. Keep it real clean. Sebu says, please, after work, remember to clear off the countertop. Keep it real clean. Oh, hello, Ayan. You're almost, we're almost finished, Ayan. We're like, we're finishing now, Ayan. You're, you're two hours late. We started two hours ago, Ayan. Okay, Ray Ray. I have to clean off the countertop in the kitchen. Yes, Ray Ray. Keep it clean. Keep it real clean, Ray Ray. Devender, remember to clear off the counter after work. Keep it real clean. Dr. Mer says, please, after work, remember to clear off the countertop. Keep it real clean. Yes, I, Ayan, keep it clean. <laughs> oh, welcome. Welcome, Ayan from Turkey. Are you in Istanbul? Are you in Istanbul, Ayana? Ayan? I love kebab. I love a kebab sandwich. Oh, that's one of my favorite. Kebab sandwiches. Mmm. Very, very delicious. I want one. Oh, you're in Istanbul. Nice, nice. I've seen pictures. Looks like you have a beautiful harbor. Looks like I'd like to visit Istanbul. I want to go and visit. Okay, Alice, please, after work, remember to clear off the countertop. Keep it real clean. Okay, Monk, please, after work, remember to clear off the countertop. Keep it real clean. <laughs> All right. Yeah, kebab. I love it. The sandwich. Mmm. A little spicy. Yeah, with the delicious... Um, cooked meat, you know, the, the, the meat, the rotisserie meat that's been um, slowly cooking, mm, lots of flavor, very delicious. <laughs> yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a song, Istanbul, con I, I don't even, I can't even pronounce it. Yeah, everyone loves, yeah, we, we love it, huh, Sewu? Okay, let's, let's check out the sentence. Here we go. Yeah. Please, after work, remember to clear off the countertop. Keep it real clean. All right. That was a lot of practice, everyone. That was a lot. You did it. You did it, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Well done. Let's check it off. Yes, let's check it off. Okay. Whoa. You know what? I always take a picture of the whiteboard so you could check it out anytime you want to. I haven't done that yet, have I? No, no, no. I need to do that. So I'm going to open my phone and then open the, the, the camera and I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard. So right now you can't see me, but you can hear me. Okay, let's count down. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I got the picture. Now, later today, I will upload it to my Facebook group page. 
Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. So you can check it out anytime you want to. I always take a picture of the whiteboard and then upload it to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. The link is below. If you don't know, it's just look under there. You'll find the link. Um, please um, join and then um, you can see all the whiteboards. Yeah. And, um, <clears throat> and one more time, I've been saying this today. I'm sorry. Please hit the like button, all right? And if you are watching, okay, I, I, Ian, please, please um, subscribe, okay? Please subscribe. And um, that, that helps. It does. It helps me. And I really appreciate that. And, um, well, we are done today. And for the, for the members, the people, the paying members um, who are the upper levels, we are doing a Zoom meeting the 21st. So please um, look for the link in the um, community page. And um, I will see you for our Zoom meeting. And um, if you want to support me and the channel, please join the channel. Hit the join button and you can see the different levels of membership and all that jazz. And um, anyways, thanks everyone. I really appreciate it. Today's Friday and um, have a great weekend. Be safe. Today's Friday, tomorrow's Saturday, then it's Sunday, then it's Monday again. So <laughs> we'll be right back. I will be back on Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, 5 p.m. Japan time. So all the, the times are in the descriptions below. Everything's in the descriptions below. And um, please, so Air Lady, great, keep a clean table, clean, keep a clean desk. Yeah, clear off all that, clear off all the clutter, clear off the clutter because you got to keep it clean for the next day, yeah? So we, we want to be more productive. So clear off that clutter, get your desk, get your table clean so you can get more work done, yeah. And um, Air Lady, thank you so much for inviting your friends to my Facebook group page. That's great. And um, it, so Air Lady invited a lot of friends, so that was great. And um, if, if other people want to do that, that's great. And also my channel, if you want to um, um, tell your friends about my channel, my videos, that, that'd be great too. Of course, of course, it'd be great. Mwah. Okay, um, let's count down together to say goodbye. Let's have a safe and wonderful weekend. Yeah, let's, let's um, be kind and smile and um, yeah. Do, do well. Let's all do well. Okay, let's count down together. Yeah, you and me count down together. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thanks so much. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend. Okay, okay. Bye-bye.